OK, well, a few more clouds were in place this afternoon as uh, our next system is approaching the area, maybe even a few light raindrops, but Chances will increase for us as we head into the evening as all of this begins to head off towards the east. And here it is back closer uh, to Minneapolis, seeing some of those heavier showers and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder as you head farther off towards that way. Uh, this moves in as we go later on into the evening. We'll see those heavier showers come in by tomorrow morning and maybe early into the afternoon before lighter showers linger on into tomorrow night. So much wetter days ahead of us as we head on into Thursday. Uh, Friday might get a break before things cool off even more. And we'll be talking about uh, maybe that S word came up here closer to the weekend, but right now 57 degrees with winds out of the south southeast at 16 miles per hour. We are seeing more of those clouds for us in Marquette. Upper 50s here into the region as you head farther to the west. Numbers actually sitting in the 60s in Ironwood at 61. Upper 50s in Ontonagon, lower 60s in Houghton, while in the middle 50s in Florence and down in Menominee. And eastward, numbers sitting right around those upper 50s in Munising and in Manistique. 70 showing up into St. Ignace and into the Sioux. 57 in Escanaba and here in Ishpeming. We are at 57 winds right now coming out of the southeast at 11 in Houghton at 6 in Escanaba, 14 in Munising. Gusts have been as high as 20 miles per hour throughout the day and looking at your temperatures across the state. Yes, seeing that milder air coming in farther and farther northward. But we'll get one more somewhat mild day tomorrow before things eventually really do begin to cool off for us heading later on into the week. But uh, we'll watch out for those scattered light showers as we head on into the evening. Pockets of heavy rain on into our early Thursday with more of those lighter showers as we head later on into the evening there and then much cool air comes in as we head on into Saturday and Sunday and also looking out for yes some possible flakes to be accompanied with them but Here's a look at our setup right now. You can see this band of rain working its way eastward along with the cold front. This is going to be uh, what's responsible for all the cool air coming in as we head over the next few days. It sweeps through heading into Thursday, but uh, the area of low pressure will continue to spin. So we'll see showers uh, sp uh, really uh, just come down from time to time. It won't be uh, completely wa a complete washout for us, but mostly during the morning we are expecting those showers to be in place. And then tomorrow evening, more of the scattered light showers. Your future cast model as we head on into the evening, mostly cloudy skies at first. Rain does move in, especially by tomorrow morning. Looking out for more of those yellows, which does indicate the heavier rain in place. It gets out of here, yes, tomorrow evening. Maybe seeing some of those lighter showers afterwards. Going on into Friday, partly cloudy skies, but then getting closer to the weekend. That's when everything does start to sink back down farther to the south. There it is right there. The blue showing up on the map for the UP. Once again, it does look to be relatively light if it does fall for us as we head on into Friday night and on into a Saturday, but it sweeps through, moves off towards the south and to the east, and eventually it looks like it should not possibly maybe come to an end as we get closer to Monday, or at least the chance of it comes to an end as we get into Monday. But over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, with that um, breezy northwest wind, maybe some moisture coming off the lake, we'll be watching out for some possible snow. For tonight, Temperatures dropping down into the upper 40s, so well above that freezing mark. Pretty mild for us with scattered showers. Winds out of the south between 5 to 10. Thursday, rainy and breezy with winds picking up around 10 to 20. Looking at your highs, we'll see them in the lower 60s in Lawrence at 60 degrees on the dot. 70 in Crystal Falls, 64 in Escanaba, while sitting in the middle 60s in Manistique, and lower 60s in Munising and in Marquette. Your seven day forecast wet as we head on into Thursday, a uh, very slight chance, very small chance of seeing anything as we head on into Friday, but temperatures already beginning to cool off. Best day or best chance of seeing any type of maybe light snow that will be Friday night into our Saturday with highs only expected in the lower 40s and maybe even perhaps a few of us only topping off in the upper 30s. Now Sunday, uh, we do see things quiet down just just a bit and then as we go on into next Monday through Wednesday, highs returning back into the mid and upper 50s with the lows in the low to mid 30s.